everyone what is up today is day 16 of the zero to startup in 30 day challenge and today we're going to work on building our own css framework now there's a ton of frameworks already out there from bootstrap foundation uh, bulma is one i really like but they all have one thing in common they're too bloated sometimes and you're not exactly sure how they're working so the whole purpose of this course is to learn coding and to learn enough so that we can modify certain parts of the website easily in the future. Uh, so what we're going to do is build our own CSS framework and we're going to start off by building out a grid system. So there's two types of grid systems that we're going to work with. One that's strictly Flexbox and we're going to allow Flexbox to align items based on whether it's a desktop, a tablet, or a phone. That's so we don't have to set any breakpoints at all. And then we're going to do another more traditional type of grid system where we're using percentages of the screen. Usually these frameworks will have a grid system of 12 blocks. And they pick 12 blocks because it's the most divisible. So it's divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. And that's just more flexible than, say, a grid system of 10 or 8. So we're gonna do a grid system of 12 and you do percentages. So each block is gonna be a percentage of the screen. So you can more have a more detailed view of where you want things on your site. Uh, this is more important when you're working with a graphic designer if they want things pixel perfect on different screens. So you're gonna to have to use a traditional grid system. Uh, if you're like me and I kinda of just want it to work on all screens and with the least amount of code possible, then you could use Flexbox. But we're going to use both in our website and we're going to show the differences between the two and how they react to images versus text. Uh, so that's what we're going to go over in today's lesson. If you're watching this on YouTube, go to usefully, useful.ly to subscribe to see the code associated. Uh, you can download the CSS framework that we're going to use. It's really simple. It's only 100 lines of code and it's perfect to have a, a modular based system so you can use it on any of your current sites or future sites moving forward. See you.